Are you tired of feeling stuck in your YouTube growth? Today I am dishing the secrets to how I actually use TubeBuddy to scale my channel with strategy. There are many TubeBuddy features, so I'm breaking down the ones that I actually use every single video to scale my channel like crazy. So you can do it too. So whether you've never used TubeBuddy before or been using it for a little while, I guarantee you there's going to be things that you take away to be able to grow faster. You're not going to miss a single tip, but let's dive in. Now this video today for me is a little bit surreal. First off, I'm in Bon Aqua, Tennessee, and also the sponsor of today's video is TubeBuddy and I've been using TubeBuddy for like four years. I teach my clients how to use TubeBuddy. I've used it myself all the time and so I would have done this video for free. So it's such an honor to say that TubeBuddy is actually sponsored this video. What? I made it. So give this video a thumbs up and know that this is really how I use TubeBuddy even if they didn't pay me to make this video. I'm talking about how I actually use it. All right. So let's get into it. Come here. Can you sit? That's a nice blend. <laughs> the first feature that I use the most in TubeBuddy is TubeBuddy's Keyword Explorer tool. Now this tool is like, yes, Zion is also really excited about it. The Keyword Explorer tool is going to allow you to figure out what kind of topics and titles you should be actually using for your channel. Let me show it to you. Quick note, I do have a discounted link to TubeBuddy. I'm going to have it up above in the tags and down below in the description. While TubeBuddy does have a free plan, I highly recommend getting at least the pro plan. You can get that for as low as $2.40 a month if you have less than a thousand subscribers. Super, super worth it. So let's look into the Keyword Explorer tool. I'm going to screen share here with you. All right. So when you go into your channel, you're going to hit TubeBuddy. I've got my computer right here. So we're going to hit TubeBuddy and then you're going to hit the Keyword Explorer tool. Now from there, it's really cool. We can type in like a topic that you're thinking about covering. So let's say I type in Pilates workout for beginners. So I'll type in Pilates workout for beginners because I've got a Pilates channel. Now what's really cool is it's going to give you a weighted score and an unweighted score. And we'll start with the unweighted. And if we hover over, it says unweighted score is a general score for how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition. No, Zion. Zion. So the unweighted score, if we hover over it, it says this is a general score for how good this keyword is to target based on search volume and competition generally, right? And it's going to show you search volume, competition, competition strength, and it's going to give you a score. So this right now has a score of fair, so not too good. I'd like it to be more at least in the yellow. If I hit in weighted, this is going to show me the score it gives to my channel specifically. So obviously I don't talk about Pilates at all. So it's giving me a super low score. And if you go down here, it's going to show you the average views that the top 20 videos are getting, the lowest view count found in the top ranking videos, and then your, your current average views for your last 10 videos, I believe. So it's showing that I do not have a good likelihood of ranking in this. If you hit results up here next to summary, it's going to show you the top 20 videos showing up for this search phrase. And you can get a lot of ideas just from sifting through these and seeing what things do they have in common? What things should you also be adding in your title? But because the score is so low, if we go back to summary here, I'm going to look over here on this right hand side where it says related searches. And I'm going to pick one of these that I think also would relate to my video to make it a little bit more niche, to make the topic more specific. So if I click on Pilates workout for beginners weight loss, we can see here that the score actually goes up a lot for weighted and unweighted. It even gives me an excellent score, which is super awesome. From there, I could have a really nice base for what I wanted the title of my video to be and what keywords I would want to also put in the description. I recommend using this every single time you make a video. This is what I teach my clients to do every video. We're always using this keyword explorer tool. For example, if I were to type in teach English online, if I were to type in teach English online, you can see the results. Uh, I still own three of the top 20 search results. So this is why it's so important to do your research. I haven't made a teach English online video in like two years and my videos are still showing up in search. YouTube is amazing. Also the top ranking channel in search is one of my clients. I'm just saying sign up for MCA. We'd love to have you in it in the magnetic creator Academy, but um, that's why keywords are so powerful is that if you do it right, you're able to show up in YouTube and Google search and assert yourself as a thought leader. For example, a niche that I've been trying to get into is the YouTube shorts tips niche. And so if I type that into the keyword explorer, what's really cool is you'll see in the results here that I am, I think I should still be, let's see if I am. Yep. I am still the top ranking channel in search. Like, look at that. Oh my gosh. Zion, look at that. Isn't that so good? I know it's okay. So that's why keywords are so important is because you can really allow yourself to become a thought leader in your niche, which is really cool. So 
If you haven't yet, make sure you sign up for the waitlist for Magnetic Creator Academy. We're opening up doors again soon. Let's move into the next tip. Okay, we're inside because Zion was going a little bit crazy. Now, the next feature that I use all the time in TubeBuddy is the recommended tags feature, and it is super, super helpful. Now, YouTube says that tags don't really matter as much nowadays, but tags, I think, do make a big difference because these are things that you can then add into your description and allow you to better show up in YouTube search and even in Google search. And this is the reason why I have been able to get an interview with BBC and to be a top ranking channel in those searches that I just showed you, okay? So this is a really cool feature. So what you're gonna do is when you upload a video, let's go to my content. you can let's go just click into one of the videos i've already uploaded so when you upload it's going to show you this option where if i scroll down you can see we have our tags that we're able to add into our video now within this if i scroll down it'll say to buddy recommended tags now i want you to click here it'll show relevant so these are the tags that it finds that it thinks is gonna be most relevant for your video. You can also search it by keyword score, which is what I like to do and see what are the keywords that it thinks that I could have a chance of showing up and search for. And then you can add these into your video. So let's say for example, how to use TubeBuddy to get views on YouTube. That'd be a great one to add in. And then from there, I'd also want to add how to use TubeBuddy to get views on YouTube into the description as well. So I could come up here and add how to use TubeBuddy to get views on YouTube as well there. Boom, and now I've added that tag, I've added the keywords in the description, and, I'm a, and my video is even more optimized and ready to show up in YouTube and Google search. Score! The next TubeBuddy feature that I use to scale my YouTube channel is insane. It's a newer feature, and I've been doing it every single video, and it is YouTube's thumbnail analyzer. And it uses AI to actually predict what thumbnail it thinks is going to have the highest click-through rate or get the most clicks and views for your channel. Using AI. like. That's insane, so let me show you it. Okay, this feature, again, you have to upload a video in order to be able to access the feature, So, or you can go to your already uploaded videos. So I'll just hit manage videos here. Once I've uploaded my video, you'll scroll down to where you can see your thumbnail, and you'll see the thumbnail analyzer tool. So right here, I'm gonna click on thumbnail analyzer, and then look from here, it'll have your thumbnail you already uploaded, uploaded and then I can drag and drop another variation of a thumbnail. So let's just say I'm trying to decide between these two thumbnails, okay? And it will analyze the other thumbnail that I'm trying to decide between and then it's going to give a score and show if it thinks if it's going to be more effective or less effective. TubeBuddy's AI is actually predicting that it's going to be 54% less effective than the one I have here. So this is really good for me to know. I'd say, okay, this is good. I'm going to pick the one that I already have. Now, the heat map that you're seeing here shows where the eyes gonna naturally pull when somebody looks at the thumbnail, which I think is also really interesting. So you can see, is your the picture of your face big enough? Is the text looking good? So this is just a really cool way of double checking your thumbnails. You can also uh, run A-B tests on thumbnails depending on what TubeBuddy plan you have. This isn't something that I do every video, but it's a really cool option where it's going to take two different thumbnails you're trying to decide between and it'll change them out every single day and look at all the analytics. And by the end of like a week of running the two different thumbnails or two weeks of running it, it will show you actually what thumbnail is gonna have the highest click-through rate and then you can keep the one with the highest score. So cool. TubeBuddy's been updating a lot with new AI features and one of the other ones that I really like is their title generator. If you click on it and you hit generate ideas, it will give you loads of different ideas for titles that I think could be better with even higher click-through rates. Super cool. If I click on it, let's see if it can generate some ideas. Ooh, so from the best YouTube setup 2023, it's gonna give me other ones like best YouTube get the best YouTube setup of 2023, the best way to set up your YouTube channel in 2023. So for me, this is showing that my title is already pretty strong because even one of the uh, titles is my own title. But if you're bad at writing titles or you don't have a lot of experience, using the title generator can be an amazing extra oomph for your channel. Now the next TubeBuddy feature that I love to use is actually going to tell you the secret to when you should be posting your video when your community is most active. And TubeBuddy's recommendations are awesome. So in order to see this, you're going to go to your channel analytics. So I'm going to go back to my channel 
and I'm going to hit TubeBuddy, go to Analytics, and then from there, I am going to hit Audience. Now, if your channel is really, really small, you may not be able to see this yet, but know it's coming and you'll be able to see it um, after you put out some more videos. And like if I scroll down, it'll show TubeBuddy recommendations and it will tell me when it thinks I should post videos. So according to this, it says I should post Sundays at 7 a.m. That's when my audience is going to be most engaged. It's going to help boost my video and getting more views when I first put it out. Super cool, right? Now, there are so many other TubeBuddy features that you can use to scale your channel, but these are the ones that I really use actively almost on a daily basis. And so I wanted to break these down to show you how you can be better using TubeBuddy to actually scale your channel. Remember, I've got a link to TubeBuddy up above and in the description box down below. If this video was helpful for you, it's so helpful for me to give a thumbs up. Be sure to give a thumbs up also for Zion, who was a great distraction in the beginning of our video. I might need to record the beginning of this video because maybe it was a little too chaotic, but why wait for next week's video, check out my whole YouTube shorts playlist and I will see you next time.